Hello, welcome to the channel. Today's video comes from a viewer's question. Andres from Madrid writes, Hello, greetings from Madrid. Great video. I have one question. How is the best way to fix a burnt sky with Pixelmator? Any tip for this, please? Thanks a lot. Hi, Andres. That's a great question and a problem I frequently have myself when I shoot indoors at midday. The camera is trying to expose your subject's foreground and doesn't have enough dynamic range to resolve the detail in the sky. I'm sure it's a problem for a lot of shooters as well. So instead of just a tip, I made an entire video to answer this common question. But before we start, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to this channel by clicking on that red bell below. One thing to note is that the process I'll describe here works in Pixelmator Pro for both RAW and JPEG. You'll have better chances though of recovering more detail if you shot the image in RAW. By the way, if you don't know anything about RAW or JPEG files, watch my in-depth comparison of RAW versus JPEG. It will really help you in your shooting. I'll leave a link in the description. So let's get right into it. The image I shot here is an example of one with an overexposed sky due to some incorrect camera setting. So let's begin to fix this. First step, let's duplicate the layer. Right-click the layer, then tap Duplicate. Next, let's select the highlights. With the top layer selected, I'll use the Color Selection tool. The color Selection tool is useful for making quick selections of similarly colored portions of an image by simply clicking and dragging your mouse. Since the blown out sky has mostly a white color, I think this tool will be appropriate. Another alternative would be the Quick Selection tool. Click and drag over the sky area and release the mouse to make a selection. The selection area instantly grows or shrinks while dragging the mouse. Don't worry if the selection isn't perfect, we shall refine any imperfections later. Now let's use a powerful editing tool available in Pixelometer Pro called a mask. A mask non-destructively hides parts of layers. In photo editing, you can use masks to combine multiple parts of different photos into one. Right-click the top layer, then tap Add Mask. Notice that a thumbnail appears with the mask created based on our selection. The white parts are completely opaque. It will show the current layer. The black parts are transparent and reveal the layer beneath it. The grayish parts are somewhat transparent depending on the darkness of the shade. As you can see, the mask is not perfect so let's refine the mask. To do that, tap the paint tool, set the color to black. I'll select a soft brush with low opacity so that the adjustments are not abrupt. With the thumbnail selected, paint black over the foreground to reveal the photo underneath. Paint white to do the opposite, which is to reduce or remove the effect of the mask. Next step is to bring out the details in the sky. For this, tap Adjust Colors tool, then move the exposure slider to the left. The foreground itself is properly exposed, but let's use the Curve tool to improve the contrast and shadows a tiny bit. If you want to know more about how to use the Curve tool in Pixelmator Pro, just leave a comment in the description. Now let's increase the saturation to improve the overall look. Here is the before and after. Here is the result after applying the same technique on a JPEG image. Notice that there's lack of detail in the sky compared to the raw image even though the shot is exactly the same. So there you have it! 
how to fix a burnt out sky with Pixelmator Pro. If you have more editing questions you'd like me to make a video on, do share it in the comments below. Or if you have some other Pixelmator Pro technique to solve a similar problem, do share it with the community as well. And please, before you go, don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more videos. Till the next one, bye!